So many people who used to be a part of my business program, the BSNT Forum, may or may not know that I am living as a traveling man, a travelist, traveling business entrepreneur, a job seeker, but in essence, it's a polite way, and it's a psycho-emotionally healthy way to say that I am struggling in homelessness. But I also know that I'm in good company as a trained journalist and a professional person who ran his own business for many, many years without any problem before I got attacked completely across society line by the sheriff of Indiana and siblings who were completely out of control and out of their mind. But that's my opinion. Now, what I can say to you is that there are other people like me in homelessness. Many people might know a really big name reporter, but he too and his elderly wife, who's absolutely adorable and attractive and a good person about God, is homeless. So being in good company is not the point of this, but understanding homelessness is something that many people need to do. Because with the onslaught and the continuation of this illness, this pandemic, we have to really start to pay attention to what is and isn't effective in the development of our businesses, our employment networks, our social media constructions and usage. And openly, we have to figure out whether or not being, we're being censored, either publicly or privately, by people who just don't like our lives. Because somehow they've eavesdropped Somehow they've shadowed us. Somehow they've stalked us technologically. And now these people are playing at us immoral gossip that harms us. 